immediately apply pressure. I don't have any uh, combat gauze, but I'm going to use what I have available. Let's see if there's a bandana. I'm going to sit there and push my finger up towards the water there, towards the heart. I'm going to start pushing it in. Finger over finger. Finger over finger. Finger over finger towards the heart. Keep them direct pressure. Finger over finger. Finger over finger. Keep as much as I can in there. Finger over finger. If I can't get it all in there and have excess, just keep it on top of it. Pull it right there on top. I'm going to apply direct pressure for two to three minutes. Once I apply direct pressure for two to three minutes, I'll come back with a field bandage pressure dressing and I'll wrap around it. Once I wrap around there, we're talking about the on the airway part of the march uh, algorithm. First thing I do on the airway is I do the head tilt chin lift method. I look inside the mouth uh, for any type of obstruction, whether it be the tongue, broken teeth, blood, vomit. I try to sweep that out. If he has a neck injury, I do the jaw thrust method. Again, looking inside for obstruction to open the airway. Other thing we can do using the average 28 gauge MPA nasal pharyngeal airway using a water soluble gel or I could use spit or his spit to wipe to lubricate it. If on the right side, I'm gonna piggy his nose, bevel towards the septum. I'm gonna go in a downward on the right nostril. I'm going to push that in to give an open airway that can bypass if the tongue drops in the airway there to breathe. If I have a blockage there on the right side, uh, again, septum towards uh, the, the bezel towards the septum. On the left side, I'm gonna push it in halfway. Once I push it in halfway, I'm going to have a blockage there. I'm going to spin around 180 degrees to go down the rest of the way. Open it there, and I'm going to reassess. If there is head damage, I would not use the MPA. That's it. Thank you.